Okay, welcome to the AI Guide and another huge story this week. So two unbelievable stories this week. Elon Musk has long had a big fascination for self-driving. Everybody knows that, right? Why he developed Tesla. So Musk has claimed that self-driving vehicles will be one of Tesla's most important products. Despite big promises, though, years have gone by. And thanks to CNN for the story, years have gone by without cars that can so far drive on their own. And I'm going to give side comments during this. But what they mean there is at level five, which is not here yet for any car company, but is for trucking. I just did a video on level five Kodiak trucks. So check that out. But, you know, it's unfair to say that. But Musk on a Friday afternoon when companies tend to bury news announced on X that Tesla would unveil its robo-taxi on August 8th. His post was a simple one and included no details. Tesla robo-taxi unveil on 8-8, he said on X. Musk has said in the past that Tesla will make a car without controls for a human to use. This is the pure level 5 vehicle. He has also said in the past that Tesla cars equipped with full self-driving capability will, through software updates, gradually become better and better at driving. At some point, the cars will be capable of operating as fully autonomous taxis and could earn money for their owners by giving taxi rides on their own, Musk has repeatedly said. And one of the earlier videos I did was he was saying, you know, you drive to work, you park your car, it, it works as a robo-taxi all day, making you money, and then comes back and picks you up at the end of the day. Because we all know cars are only driven to work and driven home from work, plus errands on the way home. It's ridiculous, but this, this is going to change cities. So far, the company has passed several of Musk's prediction dates for when actual self-driving would be possible. And my comment is, side comment, is we all know Elon is famous for being way overly optimistic, including at SpaceX. But at SpaceX, all of his predictions have come true, just to give you a frame of reference. Back to the story. Tesla, five years ago in April 2019, said it expected to begin operating robo-taxis by 2020. The company predicted the autonomous cars would last 11 years and drive 1 million miles, making the company and the car's operators 30,000 in profit each year. So that's, that's a big claim. But Musk also acknowledged that his track record for predictions can be off, like I said a minute ago, sometimes by a mile. The only criticism, and it's a fair one, sometimes I'm not on time, but I get it done, and the Tesla team will get it done, Musk said in April 2019. Currently, full self-driving capability can be purchased with a new Tesla Model 3, for instance, for an additional 12000 added on to the car's roughly 40000 purchase price. Um, we'll see how long that price lasts. As I talked about on a recent short, BYD is driving the cost of cars like the Model 3 much lower, very, very fast. It can also be purchased on a subscription basis, that's the FSD, for up to $199 a month, depending on how the car was originally equipped. In small gray type, Tesla's online description points out the currently enabled features require active driver supervision and do not make the vehicle autonomous, meaning that it is not, in fact, capable of fully self-driving today. Well, duh, no car is. No passenger car is at level five yet. So again, not fair, really. Tesla cars, and this is my side comment, Tesla cars are in fact somewhere right now between level two, which is, you know, driver assist and level three. There's only a couple of level three vehicles that have been permitted for use on the road so far, and that's certain Mercedes and certain Hondas. That's real level three. Musk has said the system will one day make Tesla cars incredibly valuable at 30 grand a year. Heck yeah. You can think of every car we sell or produce that has full autonomy capability as something that in the future 
may be worth five times what it is today. He's talking about on a cash flow basis. So those earnings over the years more than offset the cost up to five times. Experts who have tested the full self-driving system say that as of now, it is still far from being able to drive on its own without human intervention. And my side comment is, Yes, as are all other passenger vehicles right now. Kelly Funkhauser, Associate Director of Vehicle Technology for Consumer Reports, which is a great magazine, by the way, recently tested the system and said she's less worried about its safety than she is about the ordinary Tesla autopilot, which is designed to provide more limited driving assistance, mainly on highways. That's the level two system that I referenced a few minutes ago. <laughs> Ironically, that's because the full self-driving technology performs so poorly. Funkhauser described it as like giving control of your car to a novice teen driver. We know how stressful that is. You're not likely to tune out and become over complacent and become complacent or over reliant on it, she said. In fact, I would say you're potentially more alert well, not if you're wasted like the guy who hit the cop car at 70 plus, whatever. <laughs> a number of companies, including Waymo, a subsidiary of Google's parent Alphabet, as well as a GM subsidiary Cruise, are working on autonomous ride sharing services. My viewers know that I've done multiple videos on that. Why? Because it's going to change urban transportation. Cruise has paused its testing work after one of its self-driving cars hit and dragged a pedestrian. An internal review found that company representatives had failed to be fully open with regulators about the incident. The company is being invested by the Department of Justice over the incident. That's very serious. But as I said on a previous video, that poor woman who got hit. But she got hit by another car first, got thrown up over the first car driven by a human, and the poor woman landed in front of the cruise, which could not stop in time before hitting her and dragging her. So if Chevrolet had been totally transparent, California DMV would have come to the conclusion that it really wasn't their fault and it wouldn't have been a big deal. It was the hiding stuff. That was the big deal. Waymo recently had to recall its own cars after two of its cars hit the same tow truck within minutes of one another. Well, yes, here we go again. <laughs> that is a misleading statement, just like the stuff about the cruise is misleading. Why? Because the stupid tow truck driver incorrectly hooked up the vehicle he was towing and it was crooked and over in the next lane partially, which is why the Waymos hit it. So the vehicle being towed caused the accident, not the Waymos. It'll be really nice one day when the misinformation stops. As I have said on multiple videos, and it's been conclusively proven by a 10-year analysis of accident data, self-driving cars are 78% safer than human drivers. Far, far, far safer. So this is all BS. What's interesting here is that Tesla may prove to be a formidable competitor to Waymo and Cruise and others as robo-taxis roll out, which they will, nothing can stop that. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon. I really need that financial support so that I can bring you more cutting-edge content. Thanks so much. Take care. See you next time. Bye.